we are given a function z is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 3x plus 2y. We're supposed to show that partial derivative, second partial derivative of z with respect to x first, then with respect to y is equal to second partial derivative of z first with respect to y, then with respect to x. We're only supposed to show because it is known. And uh, when you're given something like this one, whatever is on the right comes first. So you're going to pass differentiate with respect to y followed by partial derivative with respect to x. And here means we're going to start with first partial derivative with respect to x followed by second derivative with respect to y. So we know the function to get those derivatives. So we get second partial derivative of z first with respect to x then with respect to y is equal to get the partial derivative with respect to y after getting first partial derivative with respect to x and this one gives us take first of all we're going to get the first partial derivative with respect to x so we get partial derivative of z with respect to x is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of z is x squared plus y squared plus 3x plus 2y. So we're going to differentiate partially with respect to x and anything that is not x is treated as a constant. So we have partial derivative with respect to x of x squared we add partial derivative with respect to x of y squared plus partial derivative with respect to x of 3x. We add partial derivative with respect to x of 2y. So this one, we differentiate in the normal way, we get 2x. Because this one is partial derivative with respect to x and we are doing it on y, and y is a constant, the second term here gives us 0 because we are differentiating a constant. Then this one gives us, if you differentiate partially with respect to x, 3x, we get 3. Then we add partial derivative of the, th the last term here is 2y. We are doing it with respect to x, y is a constant. So this 2y is a constant. This last term here gives us 0. So we get 2x plus 3, that is the first partial derivative of z with respect to x. Now we get to differentiate this one partially with respect to y after doing it the first time with respect to x. So we get second partial derivative of z with respect to y after doing it with respect to x is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of 2x plus 3 just as we have explained there so we're going to get partial derivative with respect to y of 3x then we get partial derivative with respect to y of 3 because we are doing it with respect to x with respect to y sorry this term here is going to be 0 and that term there is going to be 0 because 3x is a constant as far as partial derivative with respect to y is concerned. And this one is also a constant because we are doing it partially with respect to y. And there is no y here. So 3 is a constant. So the whole of that one gives us 0 plus 0 which is equal to 0. So second partial derivative of z with respect to y after doing with respect to x gives us zero. We are going to do this in a similar way for the second part here. So we start with partial derivative with respect to y followed by partial derivative with respect to x. Let's see what we can get. So partial derivative, second partial derivative with respect to x after doing with respect to y. What does it mean? We're taking partial derivative with respect to x after doing first partial derivative with respect to y. So we're going to do partial derivative of z first with respect to y. So we get partial derivative of z with respect to y is 
partial derivative with respect to y of z is x squared plus y squared plus 3x plus 2y. So this gives us partial derivative with respect to y of x squared plus partial derivative with respect to y of y squared plus partial derivative with respect to y of 3x plus partial derivative with respect to y of 2y. So because you are doing partial with respect to y, x is a constant, so the first term here gives us 0. And here we are doing partial with respect to y, and we have y here, so we differentiate it in the normal way, get 2y, we add, we are doing partially with respect to y, but there is no y here, so 3x is a constant, it gives us 0. And the last one here, we are doing partial with respect to y, and we have 2y there, so the last term gives us 2. So simplifying gives us 0 plus 2y is 0, sorry, that is 2y plus 2. That is partial derivative of z with respect to y. Now, we are going to do partial derivative of this one with respect to x. So we have second partial derivative of z with respect to x after doing it with respect to y is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of 2y plus 2. So we're going to have partial derivative with respect to x of 2y plus partial derivative with respect to x of 2. Because there is no x there, the first term here gives us 0. And the second term doesn't have x either. So it gives us 0 also. So second partial derivative of z with respect to x after doing it first with respect to y gives us 0. That's what we got from the first derivative. As you can see, first derivative here is the same as the second derivative there. So we conclude that d2z first with respect to x, then with respect to y, is the same as d2z first with respect to y, then with respect to x as required. This one is very important when it comes to finding stationary points using partial differentiation as we're going to do in the next lesson. So let's catch up this one and we're going to apply this one in the next example so that we look at objective 3 completely. Let's meet during that lesson.